Well, it was another warm day. It was even warmer than what we got yesterday. It was able to be the warmest day that we've gotten in 2024. Temperatures climbed all the way up to 87 degrees. It was a hot one out there, and I think the trend is going to continue for the next couple days. We're going to stick with this extreme heat for Monday, for Tuesday, then we're going to lose the heat and we'll gain some storm chances in the process. A lot of unsettled weather is going to be on the back half. Temperatures right now almost at that 80 degree mark, 79 degrees. Winds are also fast. You can see the tower cam starting to shake a little bit, and, and they're fast because we have a system that's just off into the west. We did not get a record today. We had to get to 91 to get the record as forecasted. We came up short tomorrow. I think we're going to reset, rewind. The record temperature for tomorrow is 90 degrees, so I think we'll be coming up short from that record as well, but still a whole lot of warmth that's going to be on the table. We can start to get some wet weather, some active weather coming back tonight. Look what's happening off into the west. It's quiet here in the Ozarks, but if you take a step back, you can see this line of thunderstorms producing some very fast winds, a good amount of hail in Kansas, and down here in Oklahoma, they have a tornado warning uh, earlier that produced a tornado emergency. It since then has started to die and decay a little bit. And I think that's going to be the theme for most of this activity that's happening out west. So by the time it's reaching the state line, which is going to be happening pretty close to that midnight hour, a lot of this uh, unstable weather is going to meet a wall, a very stable atmosphere, which means it's going to be breaking down, falling apart. And I think really only our western counties are at risk of seeing some rain that's going to be happening for tonight. And really that window to see rain is going to be shutting down once we get into Monday morning. We do have another chance of more thunderstorms happening Monday evening. Models have been in some agreement and then some disagreement. They really can't make their mind up about it. But if the cap breaks, I think we can see some thunderstorms that are going to be happening Monday evening around central Missouri. But right now I put the chances of that somewhere between uh, 20 to 30 percent. Uh, 20 to 30 percent chance, so pretty low right then. And then we're back to the heat. We're back to clear skies for Tuesday, Tuesday night. That's when things start to get a little bit shaky. As we can see, this line of thunderstorms are going to start to develop, and it's really all a part of a very powerful low pressure system with a cold front attached. That's going to bring severe weather chances to well, most of the people in the Midwest, a very active system is going to be on the table. I think the worst of that severe weather is going to be up into our north, where you have places that are a little bit closer to this low pressure system, but still locally here into the Ozarks. It's bad enough that we've issued a weather aware day for it. I think the timing for it is really from sunset to that overnight hour and all hazards. That means tornadoes. That means damaging winds. That means hail are going to be on the table. I think the main threat for us it's going to be some fast winds that are going to be in play. Look at this line that's going to be pushing through kind of a northeast to southwest orientation on the back side of this line. Skies are clear, temperatures a whole lot colder. And they were going to be uh, removing a lot of this heat that we're going to be having, but this line is going to be very quickly pushing out of our region. It's really only Tuesday night that we have that chance of kind of massive severe weather that's going to be on the table that we have to be concerned of. Tomorrow going to be another warm day, that's for sure. And Tuesday is going to be warm until well that cold front is going to be coming in. After that cold front arrives, we're going from temperatures in the upper 80s to yeah, getting back to the 70s, almost where you expect to be on this year. The pattern for the next week is looking pretty unsettled. Almost daily chances of thunderstorms are going to be on the table, Sydney. Enjoy Monday. Enjoy <laughs> the sunshine is Mo the moral Mon of the story. <laughs> Monday was a nice day up there. It's the only day yeah. that didn't have a scary kind of dark cloud. block out the rest of the week, right? At yeah. least that's what I'm doing. I'm blocking out the rest of the week. But definitely get out and enjoy Monday if you can because, it, like you mentioned, Matt, every day we have a chance for storms. It's getting unsettled. We're turning mm -hmm. those rain chances back. All right. Thank you.